all the time. What's a contingency? Like both on the selling side and the buying side. Well, they're the exact same thing. And there's multiples of them throughout the contract. The biggest contingency we have in our contract is the financing contingency. It means that if you can't get financing, you won't be held responsible for purchasing that home. The other contingencies we have are the home inspection. So that one means that once we do a home inspection, we get to negotiate fixes or money or whatever it is that you might want to do. And if we can't come to an agreement there, again, you're not held responsible to purchase that home. Appraisal is another big one. That one's meaning that the bank is gonna send somebody out and take a look at the house to make sure the house is actually what you're paying for it. And if it doesn't appraise and the seller won't lower the price, again, you're not responsible for purchasing that home as a buyer. So those are our three big contingencies. There's other smaller contingencies like termite, well, septic, those littler things that we have to go through and jump through hoops. But it's basically contingencies are things that we put on, hey, we will purchase this house if X happens or if Y happens or if whatever happens. And once we get through that and we purchase or we say, hey, we've been through that and it looks good, then we move on to the next contingency. Once all contingencies are removed, then we can actually close on the home. So for the sellers, the sellers are looking for in an offer the least amount of contingencies possible. That's why they love it when you do as is. That's why they love it when we take some appraisal uh, waiver on ourselves. That's why they love it when people come in with cash and don't have uh, financing but not all buyers are like that. And so sellers are just looking for what are the best terms in those contingencies that I can accept that guarantees my house actually gets to closing where well, the buyers are looking at what are the contingencies that I can have that can protect me in case crap hits the fan and I need to get out of this house. The other thing about contingencies is as a buyer, if that contingency isn't fulfilled, we'll say, you know, financing, appraisal, inspection, any of those, you get your earnest money deposit back here in the state of Virginia. So earnest money deposit goes back to you and you can go on to purchase another home. If you've paid for something like an appraisal or an inspection, you don't get that money back. Uh, some lenders will help you with that, but not all of them. So just keep that in mind as we walk through and as we look at houses, you don't want to put in an offer will and nilly with the fact that, hey, I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, see if this works out. And if I don't like the inspection, like we'll just walk away. Like you're just going to keep spending money on inspection after inspection after inspection. So yes, we have the contingencies to protect you. Yes, we want the contingencies to protect you, but we also want to make sure when we're writing our offer and we're putting that offer in with those contingencies that we actually want the house. Uh, another big contingency for you second time home buyers out there could be the contingency of selling your house and having it close before you can purchase another one. And there's multiple ways to get through that. There's multiple ways for you to write that with first rights or refusal with just a straight, Hey, it's contingent upon the sale of this house. There's just multiple things to do to help you get from house one to house two or house two to house three, whatever it may be. But that is another contingency and another way to get out that again, you would get your deposit back if all crap hit the fan and, and everything fell apart, including that first sale. So if you've got more questions, you wanna know more about contingencies or get into the nitty gritty, give us a call, shoot us a text, and don't forget to like and subscribe.